Hey, it's been a little bit since we saw each other. I'm sure the rumor mill has made up various and sundry reasons for my disappearance, and while I hate to disappoint those who were convinced I was abducted by aliens, I am, fortunately or unfortunately, depending on your perception of me, still here. That said, before I lose my nerve and branch off into a bunch of unnecessary jokes so that I can avoid the topic at hand, I have something to tell you, and that is that I haven't been okay for a while. I've been struggling with this for a little over a year now, and in the last few months, it reached a point that I didn't know how to handle anymore. I don't know exactly when it started or why it started, but as someone who is no stranger to depression, this was something completely different. Because unlike the consistent periods of my life where I would just get sad, infinitely agonizingly sad, followed by a period of recovery, this was a kind of complete and utter apathy that didn't go away. This time, I didn't feel anything. I didn't like anything. This time, Instead of depression simply dragging me down, it took everything that I loved and made it meaningless. It took away my love of this fashion. And at first I thought it was burnout. I thought, just like depression, if I waited it out, it would pass. So I made sure to eat right, I made sure to sleep right, I got my exercise, and I waited. But it didn't go away. So I waited some more, and I ate better, and I slept better, and I made myself leave the house, and I went to see my friends, and in those moments when I was hanging out with people that I love, or getting a good workout on the dance floor at my local goth club, I did feel something. I felt a little better, and I thought maybe, maybe it's over, maybe I can be me again. Now, mind you, alcohol was involved a little bit, but the moment I would get home, I would feel nothing. I couldn't even look at my closet. I couldn't look at my wardrobe. I couldn't look at any of the things that would make me so happy. Because it just felt, it just felt hollow. And as weeks, turned to months, and I leaned on my friends more, I leaned on drinking more. I lost a sense of who I was. You don't realize how much the things you love make up who you are until all of it is taken from you. And you don't recognize yourself in the mirror. You don't know who that is anymore because you don't like anything and you don't care about anything. And the only thing when I was at home alone that I could feel outside of nothing was just this sense of resentment towards myself. What was wrong with me? Why couldn't I get up and just do something? Why couldn't I do one video? Why, why couldn't I put together one outfit, why couldn't I just get up? So I scream at myself. I scream at myself over and over and over. And you know what it looks like? It looks like me scrolling through Instagram, TikTok, reading, distracting myself with anything and everything so I don't have to deal with what just simply isn't there. And after a while, you sit with it. After a while, it becomes normal. And I stayed that way until roughly a week ago. And I told cameraman today, and strangely enough, even that was kind of scary. How exactly are you supposed to tell your significant other that you don't know who you are anymore? What is a non-therapist supposed to do with that information? 
so he listened and the moment I finished telling him everything that I've already told you and a little more I felt better I don't think I even realized how much the weight of carrying this by myself had affected me it was like the weight of struggling with this alone had been lifted and while I don't know exactly why this happened or what pulled me out of it I do know that keeping it to myself didn't help. As embarrassing and frustrating as it was to struggle with this, it did help to share it with someone else. And that brings me to the point of why I decided to make this video in the first place. Because I can't be the only one who's going through this. And I wanted you to know if you're struggling with the same thing, if you are living in what feels like a big gray box with no windows or doors, I want you to know that you deserve kindness from yourself and that there is nothing embarrassing or shameful about leaning on the people you love when you need them the most. You don't have to go through everything alone to be strong. You don't have to beat yourself up for feeling weak. And as much as it might feel like you could just blend into the background without anyone noticing, I want you to know that there are people who will miss you. And while this may come off as a little selfish of me to ask this of you, I don't want you to give up. I want you to hold on, because I and this community will be waiting for you when you come back. Because you're worth waiting for. This has been Tyler. You've been watching the channel with my fracking name on it. And I'll catch you next time.